Are you ready for the schedule? That's what we say. Welcome to the Titans locker room. I'm Mike Keith. This is Coach Dave McGinnis from Titans Radio. We're excited to have PSL founders with us. Yes. For the first time we've ever done an event in the Titans locker room. We're here tonight to talk about the 2022 Titans schedule. What a great thing. Give yeah. yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. Yes. And this is presented by Shift 4, the official payment solutions partner of the Tennessee Titans. Schedule release has become a major event. When you were coaching, did you take it this seriously? Yes. Okay. This is a big deal. I mean, it's a big deal for you as a coach and a player. It really, and for fans. I mean, because you work all off season, you put a, a group together during the draft. You've got a you've got a new group that you're getting ready to bring together on the field. You know, for the for the training camps. But you want to know. You've got to know as a coach so you can start to prepare. And so this is this was always a big deal, and it's it's getting to be a bigger deal, which is great by me, Mike. It's a good good thing. All right, so we're ready to take a look at it. Let's go game by game for the 2022 Titans schedule. In the preseason, three games, two of them are at home, and the Titans will open in the preseason at Baltimore on August the 11th at 6.30, and then we'll come home to play Tampa and Arizona in weeks two and three, the dates and times to be determined. So again, Baltimore at Baltimore, week one of the preseason, Thursday, August the 11th, then home for Tampa Bay and home for Arizona. Those are the three preseason games. The regular season opener at Nissan Stadium right here, 325 Central Time. The Titans will open up against the New York Giants. Let's go. And from there, we are on the road to Buffalo. Monday night football against the Bills. The Titans and Bills square off for the fifth consecutive season, third consecutive year in primetime. Coach Mack, Buffalo will have had 11 days rest before this game because they actually opened the regular season on September 8th at SoFi Stadium against the world champion Rams. They absolutely do, but you know what? I don't care because we, 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 we played them last year with a 16-day break, and we had no practice, and we beat them. So you know what? how much that bothers me? Close me, close your eyes, tell me what you see. Nothing. Nothing, bothers all me right. None. Let's go to the last game in the month of September, September 25th. We're back here at Nissan Stadium. We say hello to Las Vegas, yes. who used to be Oakland, and then they were Los Angeles, and then they were Oakland. It's still the Raiders. Noon start at Nissan Stadium. The Titans play host to the Raiders. They travel to Nashville for the first time since 2017. Let's go division to begin October. Let's go up the road to Indianapolis. A noon start. Matt Ryan and the Colts hosting the Titans on October the 2nd. Big, big, big game. I mean, You've got to be able to win your division to get in the tournament. That's what we all want, to get in the tournament. This is a big game. First month of the season, everybody should be fresh and ready to go. We know these people better than they know themselves. I can't wait for this one. October 9th, week five, the Titans go to Washington for the first time since 2014 to play the Commanders. Carson Wentz, their quarterback. Ron Rivera, their head coach. Yes. I coached Ron for seven years at the Chicago Bears. He's doing a nice job of getting that thing turned around as far as just for the, the atmosphere in that locker room and within that organization. Uh, still doesn't matter. I want to beat him real bad. All right, good. <laughs> Week six may be a bit of a surprise. The Titans are off. A bye weekend in week six. We'll talk more about this. So coming off the bye, who did the Titans get? Indianapolis again here at Nissan Stadium. Breaks your heart to play the Colts coming off a of bye, right, Coach? Well, this, this is the second year in a row we've sandwiched the Colts. And sandwich games are always interesting. This is big because now all of a sudden you have got a chance to go up in the division 2-0. Beat them. Beat them twice within three weeks. This is a nice thing. Titans are done with the Colts on October 23rd. Tennessee staying in the division on October the 30th, traveling to Houston 
It is a 3:05 start. Their new head coach is Lovey Smith. Yeah, Lovey Smith, and Lovey will do a good job with this team. Again, now we're into now we looked at all of a sudden, guys. Here we are, and now we've had three division games. Three division games this early. You got a chance to jumpstart this thing pretty quick. October is over. Let's go to November. Let's go to prime time. Let's go to Kansas City. Sunday night football, yes. the Titans and the Chiefs. <laughs> Tennessee whipped KC last year 27 to 3. This will be the Titans' first trip back to Arrowhead since the AFC Championship game in 2019. It's always a great environment up there. And, and look, the Titans want to be and are one of the top teams in the AFC. So are these people. Let's go up there and beat them so the whole nation can see it. Another AFC West opponent on Sunday, November 13th, here at Nissan Stadium. It's Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. Strange to say, isn't it? Well, it's strange to say, but this will be a very, very interesting ball game because Russell Wilson, of course, Josh McDaniel, new head coach up there. This is going to be a very, very interesting game. All AFC games count a lot. Division games count twice. AFC games count a lot. All right, let's go to Thursday night football, November 17th. We're going to Lambeau Field. The Titans going to take on the Green Bay Packers at 715. Short week for the Titans to get ready for the Packers, another great quarterback. But at this time of the year, you know, in the middle of November, you pretty much got set what you're going to do. We, you know, we were up there last year at the end of December, just a tad bit nippy, Mike, because yes, a little bit cold up there. Uh, I can still remember you driving the rent car sliding all over the place <laughs> until until I told you. How about this snow uh, dial it says yeah. here? You put that on, handy. we did a lot better. We need to go beat them up there. I'll remember to turn on the four-wheel drive early. Good. All right, a 10-day break, November 27th. Don't have to say much about this one. Nissan Stadium. There we go. Cincinnati, a noon start. Let's go to the month of December. December 4th at Philadelphia. The Titans traveling to Lincoln Financial Field for the third time in the regular season, the first time in eight years. Eagles going to be an interesting team this Eagles year. Eagles are going to be a very, very interesting team this year. December 4th up there in Philly, uh, you know, I was in the NFC East for quite a while when I was with the Cardinals. That can be an interesting place weather-wise at the beginning of December. We'll see what that is. Sunday, December the 11th, who haven't we seen yet? Doug Peterson, the former Philly coach. And the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're coming back. And there we go. Now we are back into the division. We all know how important it is to win your division games. Got the Jaguars now after we've already had three early on. Last year, the Titans went to SoFi Stadium and beat the Rams in Los Angeles. This year, the Titans will go back to SoFi Stadium and try to beat the Chargers. No, good, a good trip. First of all, it's a tremendous stadium. And I want us to do just to the Chargers what we did to the Rams. Exactly pattern perfect. Okay. So the next weekend is Christmas weekend. The majority of NFL games will be on Saturday. The Titans have drawn one of those Saturday games at Nissan Stadium. We'll play host to the Houston Texans. Houston Texans, again, in the division uh, right before Christmas. What a great Christmas present to beat the Texans here right before Santa Claus comes. All right. So one Thursday night game, Green Bay. Then how about another Thursday night game yes. against the Dallas Cowboys? There we go. They come in here on December the 29th. I guess we don't really need to add much to that, do we? No, I love this. I love this so much. I love this crowd, too. They're, they're right on cue. But this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, then the regular season finale will be at Jacksonville, and it'll either be January 7th or 8th. It will be at a time to be determined based on what's happening during the season. Normally, they set these in November. Sometimes they'll let them go to December even before making the decision. We'll see. Well, you'll see, but it, it's a flex game. It's, it's a flex, you know, for one of those two days, which is fine. We'll just go down there and beat Jacksonville. Doesn't matter what day. All right. Your thoughts on the schedule, Coach Mack, well, first as of a all, whole? As a, as, a, as a former coach, when you look at it, you want to see where your open date is. I like where our open date comes. And you got to remember, too, it's not, just, it's not just the sixth week. You've already had your preseason, too. So it's a, it's, a, it's a good time where you come there. I also always looked at division games. We get a chance to jump out ahead in our division early on. 
We've got three division games when October's over. That's very, very important. I like that. And plus, four national games. Four national games. I mean, that to me shows respect for what the Titans are. And it shows, it shows to me that people in the league office recognize what the Titans are right now. I love the national games, Mike. Let's talk about the opener with the Giants because the Giants obviously okay. weren't very good last year. They have a new coach in Brian Daybowl. Their defensive coordinator is Wink Martindale, yes. who used to be in Baltimore. They're going to have four months to get ready for the Titans. With a new coach and some new people who know the Titans, that one makes me nervous. Yeah, well, the thing about Dayball is, you know, he's coming from Buffalo. You know what, he, you know what his offense is going to look like. I've known Wink Martindale ever since he's been in the league. I think he's been in the league 17 years. I've been in it about twice that. So I know Wink very well. You're going to have to get set for your blitzes against Wink Martindale. Their special teams, special teams coach, McGahee, he's been there for five seasons. So we're going to have a lot of tape on these people. That's important for your first game, Mike. You want relevant tape so that you can get ready. They can do whatever they want new, but they've got coaches that have been in this league that have patterns already. These PSL founders, many of them like to go to one or two or three road games a year. What are the road trips that you like on the Titans schedule for where they fall? Kansas City is always cool. Kansas City is a great, great environment. It's not very far. You know, the last time we were there, we had a whole caravan, you know, that came that came from Nashville down there. That, that, that's a very, if you've never been, if you've never been to Green Bay, let me just tell you, sometimes that is a, that's a bucket list trip. I, I was 10 years at the Bears, and believe me, it's a Green Bay for just as it stands alone is a cathedral to football. It really is, you know, because Bears and the Packers, two original teams. Uh, if you've never experienced Green Bay, their fans are tremendous. They understand the game, and plus, it's just such a cool place. And then when the Titans went, win up there, just think you can come back and say, I've been to, to, I've been to Lambeau, and we beat the Packers. And to go to SoFi in December would be a great thing to see Titans Chargers. If you haven't ever been to SoFi, I mean, it's, it's, I was out there when all this was going on, you know, when, when we first moved the team, the Rams out there. It is spectacular. It is spectacular. To give you a little bit of perspective, the same group that built Minnesota Stadium, that built Dallas Stadium, built this stadium. You can take Jerry Stadium, which he's very proud of, right? Everybody's seen Jerry World and can fit it inside SoFi. That's how big this place is. It's massive. It is spectacular. It's impressive. All right, we're going to look at the schedule now through the months of the season. We obviously start in September. Three games, one primetime game at Buffalo, but two home games overall. So that's the way September gets started for the Titans. Giants at home at Buffalo, Las Vegas. Two home games. Remember, too, the Titans only have eight regular season home games this season because the 17th game is Green Bay. Right. Which means this is the year you play nine road games. To October we go. The bye is in week six. And so road game at Indianapolis, road game at Washington, after the bye, home for Indy, at Houston, three road games in that month. Look at this month. Let me stop you a minute. I did anyway. Okay. Okay, here's, here's the deal. You've got three right there division games. This is a big stretch. Big stretch with a bye week in it. All right, we'll have to give Coach the handheld here. I think he's... What happened? Well, we, we got him back. Me? You broke the microphone. I'm still here. He's still here. All right. What did I do wrong? Well, Mitch? it's because you interrupted Okay, me. good. That's what happened. Because I interrupted All right, let's go to November. Now, this is amazing because if you look at Kansas City, they have Patrick Mahomes. Denver has Russell Wilson. Green Bay has Aaron Rodgers. Cincinnati has Joe Burrow. That's some quarterbacks. That is some quarterbacks, of course... You guys saw the great transformation this defense made last year. That They are going to even be more transformed this year. But this right here is a challenge defensively because of these quarterbacks, as Mike said. All right, December is an extremely busy overall month. Five games beginning with Philadelphia in week 13, Jacksonville at home, the Chargers in Los Angeles, and then home dates, two games within five days, Houston and Dallas. It's a big, big month. This is a big month, and, and you, you said it there. As a coach, when you look at it, two, two games in five days, and you start looking at the people that you're playing, you know, Philadelphia is, a, is an unfamiliar opponent. You're very, very familiar with Jacksonville and Houston. Chargers, again, 
we know them, but we don't know them. And then Dallas, it's always fun to play Dallas, but this is a big five-game stretch. And then in January, just one game. Not sure whether it'll be the seventh or the eighth, but it is week 18 at Jacksonville, which will be nice because it won't be cold. It will not be cold down there. And so... We like that. We No, no, we <laughs> like that a lot. And so y'all come down there after, the, after New Year's and to this game too. There you go. There you go. All right, we want to take a look at the bye week. It is in week six this year, and we take a look at bye weeks through the Mike Vrabel era, and it's been really all over the road. In his first season, 2018, we had a bye right after we went to London, which is in week eight. 2019, normal, at week 11. 2020, due to COVID, the Titans had to use their bye in week four. It would have been a week seven bye. Last year, we had to wait all the way until week 13. This year, week six. In the regular season, Mike Vrabel teams are 4-0 and after bye games. And remember, the opponent after this year's bye is Indianapolis. Why are they so good after buys? Because he does such a great job with his altered schedules. That's why the four uh, national games that we have, He's tremendous with altered schedules. He puts a lot of thought into it. Plus, look, he understands the players. He gets them from a lot of a lot of ways. That's important for a coach to understand where his players are mentally and physically at certain times during the year. But coming off of a bye, he approaches it, first of all, with the health of his team, but then he also knows how to get his staff ready because when you're coming off a bye, you have to plan that bye week, not only for some practices, because you have to give your players off through the weekend, but how you're going to prepare for the next opponent. He's excellent, excellent at that. Four primetime games for the Titans. They're most on an original schedule since 2009. Here are the primetime games that are scheduled, and there could be more added with a flex. At Buffalo, Monday night football. Kansas City is Sunday night football. Green Bay at Green Bay and then Dallas at home are both Thursday night games. Titans under Mike Vrabel are 7 and 0 in primetime games. And these are real Excuse me, 7 and 5 in primetime. These games. are real NFL games right here. I mean, if you want to see great NFL games, these are great NFL matchups right here and to be in primetime as a coach and a player and as fans. This is what you want. This is what you want. This is what we got. This excites me. All right, I'm going to get Joey Meredith to come up this way because we want to talk about tickets for just a minute. Many of you out there joining us want to know all about what you can do ticket-wise. I would recommend the flex plans. And under the flex plans, you can pick the games you want to attend by customizing a ticket package. And Joey Meredith, who is the director of ticket sales, is coming in. He's got his Oilers gear on, that a boy. I'm ready. Yeah, the, he's talking about the history. The flex plans, two game plans, three game plans, five game plans. Yes. How does it work? So you can customize your schedule. Um, a lot of people are busy these days. You can pick the games that fit your needs. Uh, one of the reasons we have to do that is because the people in this room um, renewed at a record rate this year. That's awesome. Not a, yeah. Yep. Yep. So there. There's just not a lot of seats out there, not a lot of tickets to choose from. So what we do have left over, you can use our two game or five game to, to make a schedule that fits yours. And the, the tickets are in the 300 level and they start at $152. It's a, it's a really great deal if you can't make it to every game. And we know many of you who are with us are out of town and can't make every single one or you couldn't get a, a PSL because yeah. Somebody renewed all of theirs, which yeah. was good news. Yeah. So good stuff right there with the flex plans. Let's talk about season tickets for just a minute. Even though the renewals are high, season tickets are still available. We do have some. Um, and I think the people in this room would agree that the stadium atmosphere the last couple of years has been a lot like the early 2000s. And a lot of that is because our, our large season ticket member base. So we are limited. A lot of the areas are sold out, but there are still some good ones. So if you are interested, call our office. Our reps will be able to help find some of the, the decent ones that are left. Okay, and there are some lower level seats. There's some available. lower level sideline, lower level end zone, club level super low, but we'll we'll do our best to find you a good seat. All right. So again, if you're interested in Titans season tickets, they are available. 615-565-4200. There it is. You can call or text 615-565-4200. And then I guess groups. 
do have some groups. Um, we want local groups. So okay. Yeah, Dallas, all those people stay away. We want local companies, local nonprofits to come out. We do have some space, but not a lot. But call our reps. We'll help you out. All right. So how does the group package work? Is there a minimum? Sure. How does that go? Yeah, 10 or more people qualify for our group rate. It's a discounted ticket. So you'll get to see some Titans football for a, a good price. All right. So you see the home games, the Colts, the Jaguars, and everybody in between. Uh, the estimated number of tickets that you would want, it's just $250 to hold them, and I think it's, what, a minimum of 10? That's right, minimum of 10. So bring your uh, nine closest friends, come watch some Titans football. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also, also some hospitality available. We do, yeah. So a lot of the, the corporate companies that, that we work with that are entertaining, we have some food options for them. Um, definitely ask about those because they're limited. All right, as I let Joey Meredith go, thanks so much for being with us. want to put up on the screen this email address that you need to know, groups at titans.nfl.com for more information. And that's the way that you were able to find out about group tickets. These are things that we didn't have in the... Mike, I'm staying here. You're, I'm, what, you're I'm, not I'm, leaving? I'm a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. So they, they, said, they said that they would shoot me over here. And so I'm going to... Uh, so you're not coming back? Well, I'll be back in a second. Uh, this, is, this, is really, this is really comfortable over here with these people. I feel, because you know how much I enjoy the fans. I can't, I can't get this close when we lean out of the booth, so now I'm close. All right. Well, you stay right there. All right. Let's go through the schedule again. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I could All have right. done that from over there. I know you could. Well, you can. I mean, whatever you want to do, Coach. Thanks. All right. So we start at home. On September the 11th, the Tennessee Titans play host to the New York Giants. Notice the start time. It is a 325 central time kick. So the Titans are in the late window against Brian Dayball and the New York Giants. Week two, it's Monday night football in Buffalo. It's an early game. It's a doubleheader that night. The Titans kick off at 615 central in Orchard Park against the Bills. And then the final game in the month of September, September 25th, back at Nissan Stadium, the Las Vegas Raiders travel to Nashville, and that is a noon start. Sunday, October the 2nd, the Titans are at Indianapolis. That is also a noon start. And then the following week, Tennessee stays on the road to catch the Commanders of Washington in D.C., a noon start October 9th before the bye in week number six. Moving to week number seven, coming off the bye, the Titans have Indianapolis here at Nissan Stadium. Kickoff is set for noon. October 30th, back on the road, 305 kick at Houston. Busy, busy November. Sunday night football, November 6th at Kansas City, 720 kick. Back home on November 13th, noon kick for Denver. Thursday night football at Green Bay, 715 kickoff on Prime Video. And then 10 days later, Sunday, November 27th, Cincinnati makes their way to Nissan Stadium. Five games in the month of December, beginning on December 4th at Philadelphia. That is a noon kick. Back home, Sunday, December the 11th, the first meeting of the year with the Jags, noon kick. Traveling out west, SoFi Stadium, December 18th at the Los Angeles Chargers for a 325 start. Then back home for a Saturday Christmas Eve day game at noon against the Houston Texans. Five days later, the second Thursday night game on the schedule. December 29th here at Nissan Stadium against the Dallas Cowboys. And then the Titans wrap up the year on Saturday, January 7th or Sunday, January 8th at Jacksonville. Let's review one more time how the months will look for the Titans. In the month of September, the Titans play three times, two at home, Giants and Raiders at home at Buffalo. In October, in October, it's Indianapolis at, at Indianapolis, at Washington, by week, then Indianapolis at home, then at Houston. So three division games in the month of October. November, the month of quarterbacks. November 6th at Kansas City. November 13th, Denver. November 17th at Green Bay. November 27th, Cincinnati. December, five games at Philly, Jacksonville, at the Los Angeles Chargers, 
home for Houston and Dallas. And January, one game concluding the regular season against Jacksonville. We're looking forward for more football after that, Coach Matt. Yeah, there'll be more football after that. But, Mike, just listening to you go through that, it, it gets me so excited, and especially to be here with this group. This is what we wait for. This is why we do this. And to see some of those teams that are coming in here, I love when you say the month of the quarterbacks because that's what it's going to be. This is really an exciting schedule. I cannot wait, and I know I have to. I've been in the league 36 years now, and every year at this time, I'm just like a little kid again because it's starting to, to ramp up. It's starting to amp up, and I'm really fired up about it. And the rookies are here getting to work, Coach Mack. And I'm going to go watch them with you tomorrow. <laughs> and so, uh, absolutely. So it's going to be it, – it, it, look, guys, this is why we do it. And when uh, we got permission from John Robinson to do this, because Mike Keith said we got permission from John Robinson to do this. Well, that's what I was told. Okay, good. <laughs> this, this, this has been a fantastic, fantastic event. I mean, there's nobody else doing this across the National Football League. So everybody else, too bad. So the Titans, we know the schedule now. The rookies are here. The veterans are in town going through what they're doing in the offseason program. And that's about to ramp up as well, moving towards the four weeks, which essentially – our spring practice for pro football players before the June 14th through 16th minicamp. Yeah, let's jump on the rookies a minute. It's really important to know that, that Mike Vrabel and his experienced coaching staff, they're not going to ask these rookies to come in here and go 100 miles an hour when they first show up. This is all about them getting used to their surroundings, figuring out where their meeting rooms are, where they're going to eat, how they're going to get back and forth. All of this is important because they're all coming from different places, from their collegiate places and they don't know they don't know about the national football league and i'll tell y'all something too that's important it's important to get them here before the vets come in because they get a little bit more acclimated and they're nervous they're and they're really when the vets show up they don't know whether they're foot or horseback i'm telling you it's a different world that they're in right now so this is a great time for them to come together as a rookie class and what's really interesting about this rookie class too is they're a little older as, as a group of guys, some of them are 23, 24 years old, and you would think that that would help their acclimation process. Except they're brand new to the NFL. Well, that's true. And the NFL is a different world. I can't wait to see them tomorrow, Mike. I'm really looking forward to that. All right. So as we go through this process, the schedule's out. What do the coaches start doing? And the scouting staff, what do those men start doing right now? Men and women, I should well, say. Well, the first thing the first thing everybody starts to do, you've, you've all got your assignments as far as which teams you're going to break down. You break down the first three. Normally, you put five or six games into a game plan. But at the early part of it, you're going to have to break down uh, some games from the previous places these coaches have been. So everybody's got assignments to do that. And then you're, you're right on top of the rookies. That's what you want to do right now. Mike Vrabel, as we all have said already, he does a great job with his scheduling. So they're going to be on point with what they're doing. But right now, guys, it's, it's pedal to the metal because uh, it started again. Can I thank our PSL founders for being here in the Titans locker yes. room tonight? Thank you so much. <laughs> Coach Mack, thank you. Thank you, and thanks for letting me sit with the people, Mike. That was well, you could have yeah, you could have stayed. Well, thank you. I'm staying now. All right, well, he's going to stick around and visit with everybody. <laughs> the Titans 2022 schedule show is presented by Shift 4, the official payment solutions partner of the Tennessee Titans, and we thank them. We thank everyone out there who's joined us to share in the excitement of, let me think about this, May the 12th, and people are oh. already fired up about the Titans and what they're going to do this season. For Dave McGinnis, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us, everybody.